be seated. Good afternoon. I'm glad to be here and to welcome so many friends, relatives, community members, and the class of 2003. I would especially like to recognize the class of 1953, whose leadership and pioneering has helped make this school what it is today. Thank you so much. Writing this speech was a huge challenge for me. My parents will tell you about the dozens of post-it notes stuck in random places of the house with spur-of-the-moment ideas on them. You know, the bathroom, the living room, the kitchen, I think you get the point. What am I going to say to the people I've known literally all my life? What advice can I give to the people who have challenged me, taught me, and inspired me for so many years? We are such a talented group that has accomplished so much in so many ways. In academics, we are among the best. This year, we have 85 students receiving honors diploma, and 82% of us are going on to college. In this fall alone, we are receiving 111 scholarships with a net value of close to half a million dollars, a number that is well up from previous years. These prestigious achievements only scratch the surface of what we have accomplished in academics, electives, and extracurricular activities. Our school newspaper, for example, The Bruin, is one of the best in the state and has won several awards. The speech and debate team continues to dominate with, dominate with numerous state-level competitors. Our vocal music program and drama programs are a sheer joy to watch, listen to, and participate in. There are so many people in our class who just exude talent. The band is the undisputed best band in the region, and that's an understatement. They're backed by a jazz band that literally gives me goosebumps. The list goes on. Athletically, since we were freshmen, Wadsworth sports teams have won 24 Suburban League titles. This year was a hallmark year. In the fall, our football team became the first team in school history to make the, the Division I state playoffs, while the girls cross country team set the pace for the Suburban League by bringing home yet another title. The girls' basketball team continued its tradition of excellence in winning their ninth consecutive league title. The boys' basketball team made some serious headlines by becoming the first 20-0 boys' team in county history. The wrestling team yet again placed very high in the state, sending several wrestlers to the state tournament. Finally, the boys' track team is the best track team Wadsworth has ever had. Yesterday, they tied for third place in the state track meet, and we're going to get a banner up there. In retrospect, you'd think that this variety of accomplishments is pretty darn good. And you're right. But are you satisfied? Is today as good as it gets? Will it all be downhill from here? Or is today a very important rung on the ladder to success? The way I see it, this is only the minor leagues. Today we are given the choice to do what we want, be what we want, and climb as high on that ladder as we can. It's all up to us now. There's no one to hold our hands or wipe our noses. <laughs> on the first day of school, freshman year, in English class, Mr. Beery read us a poem that has really affected me and stuck with me. I'll share it with you today. It's entitled, Pretty Good. There once was a pretty good student who sat in a pretty good class and was taught by a pretty good teacher who always let pretty good pass. He wasn't terrific at reading. He wasn't a whiz-bang at math. But for him, education was leading straight down a pretty good path. He didn't find school too exciting, but he wanted to do pretty well. 
and he did have some trouble with writing because nobody taught him to spell. When doing arithmetic problems, pretty good was regarded as fine. Five plus five needn't always add up to ten. A pretty good answer was nine. The pretty good class that he sat in was part of a pretty good school, and the student was not an exception. On the contrary, he was the rule. The pretty good school that he went to was part of a pretty good town, and nobody seemed to notice that he couldn't tell a verb from a noun. The pretty good student, in fact, was part of a pretty good mob, and the first time he knew what he lacked was when he looked for a pretty good job. It was then when he sought a position that he discovered that life could be tough, and he soon had a sneaky suspicion. Pretty good might not be good enough. The pretty good town in our story was part of a pretty good state, which had pretty good aspirations and prayed for a pretty good fate. There once was a pretty good nation, pretty proud of the greatness it had, but which learned much too late. If you want to be great, pretty good is in fact pretty bad. The problem with society today is that too many people are content to settle. I truly don't think that's the case in Wadsworth. We won't let that be the case. The question is why? Why aren't we so easily satisfied? Why all these awards and accomplishments? Why are we different from all the other pretty good schools and communities in the area? I mean, if you think about it, we're a medium-sized suburban town, which seems to be a dime a dozen these days. Yet there is something different about Wadsworth. It's displayed through the actions of our teachers, administrators, and parents our mentors, neighbors, and coaches, and it's displayed through us. People from Wadsworth have a positive get-up-and-go mentality fueled by the, de the desire for the best, yet with the willingness to lend a helping hand. Some may call it community spirit, but we've all come to know it as none other than good old grizzly pride. As I look out at all of you, gathered here together, for the last time, I'm overwhelmed with pride. I'm proud of the so many incredible experiences we've shared, the lasting memories we've created, and the everlasting friendships with which we've been blessed. Very soon, we will head our separate ways with different priorities and agendas. But we must never forget the times we spent together and the lessons we've learned. Class of 2003, my advice to you is this. Whatever you do after today, put your heart into it and never settle. Do what you love and do it great with little grizzly pride. Thank you, God bless you, and congratulations, class of 2003. <laughs>
leaves to morning with the promise of opportunity. We can reach for the stars we find along the way, dreaming as we learn to love every day. Promise you will take my hand as tomorrow comes, we'll go on. Good afternoon and welcome to Wadsworth High School's 127th annual commencement. It is a day filled with mixed emotions as we get ready to introduce and at the same time say goodbye to the 2003 graduating class of Wadsworth High School. We will miss this very special group of young men and women. They have represented themselves, their families, and the community in an impressive manner throughout their four years of high school. They have received many individual awards team championships, and group honors, all the while earning the respect and admiration of everyone at Wadsworth High School. In addition to being outstanding role models for the underclassmen, they have upheld the proud tradition of excellence that has become a trademark of Wadsworth High School. At this time, I would like you to note the first five rows of students along with the three that are on stage. Would all of these students please stand? 
These students comprise the honors row, maintaining a 3.5 cumulative grade point average during their high school career. Please join me in recognizing and applauding their accomplishments. Thank you. You may be seated. I would also like to introduce the students that finished in the top 10 academically for this impressive group. I would ask that each student stand as I read their name. Please hold your applause until all of them have been announced. Jennifer Lukens, Reed Kroniski, Lee Kennard, Allison Shondell, Andrew Esterly, Lauren Lorenz, Dave Starnchuk, Jennifer Hunt, Jeff Parker, and Ashley Dixon. Thank you. I would now like to bring special attention to two members of this group. Would Jeff Parker please join me? Through diligence and hard work during the past four years, Jeff has earned the honor of being named Class Salutatorian for 2003. In addition to having perfect attendance for all four years of high school, Jeff is a member and president of National Honor Society, member and president of the Student Council Executive Board, a representative to Buckeye Boys State, has been involved in numerous productions, drama productions, speech and debate, and show choir, and Jeff was also selected as a Gold Star winner by the Beacon Journal, one of 30 from area high schools from the class of 2003. Jeff is here today with his parents, Dr. Jeff Parker and Christine Parker. Will you please stand? Would Sister Diana and Brother Adam please join them, as well as other mem members of the family in attendance. You can all be very proud of Jeff's accomplishments and your role in his success. Jeff, I would now like to give you this medallion proclaiming you as a salutatorian for the class of 2003 and ask that you say a few words to your classmates. They were the best of times, they were the worst of times, but most importantly, they were the times we spent together. From kindergarten to 12th grade, we've endured all the hardships we've encountered, not alone, but together. We cried on each other's shoulders, we laughed at each other's jokes, regardless of how funny they actually were. We rejoiced when we accomplished, we consoled when our dreams seemed shattered. Regardless of the situation, we stood together, not as a group of students, but as one body, working in harmony to run the race of education and finish here at graduation. Each of us acting as the cells Lang and Burton formed us of, or the atoms Mr. Schmelzer and Mr. Varmer, Varner elaborated upon. Each person doing his or her duty in order to get the body to the finish line, just like Mr. Bedillion told us they would. However, the journey was saturated with ups and downs, inclines and descents. During early stages of the race, we were supposed to learn the three basic R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic, when, in reality, maybe we were concentrating a little too much on the other two fundamental R's. Yes, R&R, &R, rest and relaxation. As we continue the race, we further develop our educational and recreational skills. We learn how to harmonize, draw straight lines, and run back and forth across the gym for hours upon end as well as how to pass notes, play Foursquare, and yes, we begin tolerating members of the opposite sex. But along with these come the occasional, but inevitable, broken hearts, bones, and egos. However, friends were always there to put us back together. As time went on, we got older, wiser, and ironically, a little more reckless. While learning literature and analyzing algebra, we crashed cars and began taking school maybe not as serious as we should have. 
Hey, we are high schoolers in Wadsworth, right between Ripman and Norton, two of the largest cities in Ohio. We were invincible and invisible to the rest of the world around us. Right? Wrong. Painfully wrong. The perfect snow globe we lived in was tossed and turned at the occurrences of events like Columbine and September 11th. But we held course together as one. And we did it, we got here, we won the race. We trudged through the math, science, English, and social studies classes to get here to the finish line. We did not achieve our goal un uncoached though. We are only here because of the help of administrators, parents, and teachers. Some who are still here with us today, and some who have gone on to bigger and better places. Each group of people developing a different portion of our academic and social lives. George Orwell wrote, who controls the past controls the future. Our class of 2003 has dominated the past, and we are ready for the future. We have earned a plethora of state and district honors in track, basketball, baseball, softball, tennis, swimming, football, wrestling. We sent individuals to the national speech and debate tournaments as well as qualifying many to the state levels. We sent pieces of art as far as New York City to receive recognition. Countless students have been recognized for their academic excellence. When life gave us lemons, lemonade just wasn't good, good enough for us. We went straight for the lemon meringue pie. Yeah. <laughs> but they were the best of times and they were the worst of times. But most importantly, they were the times we spent together. Bon voyage, class of 2003, for the future has much to bring. Jeff will attend the University of Michigan and major in math and physics. Now it is time to introduce the valedictorian for Wadsworth High School's class of 2003. Would Ashley Dixon please step forward? Ashley has been involved in a variety of activities in her four years at Wadsworth High School. She has been a member of the speech and debate team, qualifying for both the state and national tournaments, a member and treasurer of the National Honor Society, member of Huddle, Latin Club, and Key Club. Ashley is also an active member of Big Brothers and Big Sisters organization and was named one of the top 100 seniors in the five county area by the Plain Dealer. Joining Ashley today are her parents, John and Robin Dixon. Will you please stand? Along with Sister Kaylee, and other members of the family to be congratulated on your contributions to Ashley's success. <laughs> Ashley, I would like to present this medallion to you, proclaiming your honor as class valedictorian and ask that you address your classmates. The future depends on what we do in the present. When Mahatma Gandhi spoke these words, he was speaking to a group quite different from the one assembled here. Despite this, its meaning is a universal one, one tested by time, one proven true. Our thoughts and actions on this very day will affect those tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. These become our future. As Henry David Thoreau said, if you have built castles in the air, your work need not be lost. That is where they should be. Now put the foundations under them. In other words, as you leave dear Wadsworth High, take the dreams that have inspired you to come this far and make them reality. No matter how magnificent or fantastic your dreams may be, now is the time to strive to obtain them. Our futures await us outside, beyond the school doors. I know not what the future holds for any of us. I know only that each of us has the talent, intelligence, and dedication needed to achieve our dreams. 
After 12 years, I think it's safe for me to say that I know enough about the students in our class to believe our futures look bright. In every sector of our educational and extracurricular activities, we have excelled. Whether in the career technical programs, the classroom, on the field, or in academic or career-oriented competition, we have risen to the occasion. By breaking school records, winning first place, and receiving national awards, each of us has made our name known. The precedent we set for ourselves while in high school will surely follow us as we make the next leap in our lifelong journeys. Today is monumental. It marks the beginning and the end. When you walk across this stage, you'll be high school students no longer. That is not to say that the past does not matter. Remember Gandhi's words. Our past dictated the path that led us here. I'd like to leave you with two pieces of advice that I've borrowed from two great men, one a genius, the other a basketball player. As Albert Einstein said, the important thing is not to stop questioning. That is, never stop learning, and don't be afraid to question yourself and those around you. Second, Michael Jordan once said, obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. These inspiring words sum up everything we have learned about conquering our obstacles. As I said, our futures look bright, but that is not to say we won't face hardships. When these come your way, take Jordan's advice, because good things are sure to follow. You've now overcome one obstacle on life's road. I'd like to be the first to salute your achievement. Good luck and congratulations. Ashley will attend Ohio State University and major in political science. In the past, Wadsworth High School has been privileged and delighted to host multiple talented and friendly foreign exchange students. And this year is no different. We have the honor to host two quality students brought to us by the Rotary International Organization. Natalie Crispin hails from Belgium and was welcomed into the Pedo and May households. We also welcome Mathieu Guerreau from France. Mathieu stayed with the Bowmans and the Pedos on his visit. Good luck and Godspeed to both of you on your journeys back to your homes. And we hope that we have, I'm sorry, we hope that we have given you as much as you have given us. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to bring your attention to the class of 1953 seated to my right. The president of this class was Howard Leatherman, vice president Roger Dressler, Boys Representative, Philip Laparo. Girls Representative, Barbara Springer. The Secretary Treasurer, Marilyn Wingeyer. And the Class Advisor, Mrs. Hildebrand. Their class motto, he can, who thinks he can. Class flower, red rose. Class colors, green and white. Highlights of their senior year included homecoming, where Norma Kramer was crowned the queen. A dance called the hog wrestle. You may have to answer some questions later on about that one. <laughs> the senior drama production, The Late Christopher Bean. The senior banquet and senior prom with a theme of It Takes Two to Tango. They completed their high school career with commencement day on June 2nd, 1953. The final statement from the senior cabinet read, as we leave, we take all these precious memories with us, knowing that high school is over, but the memories will linger forever. From all of us here today, welcome back, and we hope that the memories have blossomed with time. There are a few members of the class of 1953 present today that have relatives in this graduating class. 
Would these people please stand as I call your name? Lavon Henthorne, grandmother of Doug Baverka. Stella Tomes, grandmother of Megan Parker. Tom Buckingham, grandfather of Ashley Foreman. Howard Leatherman, grandfather of Jesse Leatherman. Mervyn and Marilyn Hanshu, grandparents of Nate Hanshu. And Jim and Ann Strawn's great, great aunt and uncle to Brenna Detweiler. Would the entire class please stand for a round of applause. It is now time to recognize the class of 2003. I would ask that the members of the audience please respect this special moment for each graduate. Please refrain from calling out or applauding individual students. Every student has been looking forward to this moment and deserves the right for their name to be read without interruption or embarrassment. At the conclusion, we will have a round of applause for everyone. I would like to mention the other individuals on the stage who will assist with the awarding of diplomas. From the guidance department, Ms. Sue Allison, Mr. Ron Saylor, Mrs. Cheryl Gilbert, and Dr. Susan Four. In addition, the president of the Board of Education, Mr. Robert Durhammer, Vice President Lisa Jones, and board members, Mr. Jim McElvain, Mr. Chuck Feaster, and Mrs. Kathy Cooper. I would ask, now ask that the superintendent of the Wadsworth City Schools, Mr. Dale Fortner, to join me. Mr. Fortner, I would like to present to you a class that has accomplished many things and one that we can all be very proud of. I can assure you that every one of these students has met the graduation requirements set forth by the Board of Education and the State of Ohio. I present to you the class of 2003. To the class of 1953, welcome home. Please know that we enjoy having you here as our honorary guests, and it is always nice to have you here in Wadsworth City Schools. To the class of 2003, congratulations on your many, many accomplishments. You have certainly contributed to the marvelous traditions of this school system, and have said here before at the podium, you've set your own mark in many, many ways. On behalf of our Board of Education, we wish you the best. Now, with our Board of Education present here on stage, at this time, I officially accept the graduating class of 2003. To the Wadsworth City Schools Board of Education members, I can assure you that each individual in today's class has met your requirements, as well as the requirements set forth by the State of Ohio, thus earning a right to a diploma. Therefore, I make a recommendation to you that you now award diplomas to the Wadsworth High School class of 2003. Timothy Michael Schwartz, Ashley Marie Dixon, Jeffrey Mylan Parker, Teresa Marie Adams, Danielle Marie Andreessen. Nicole Ann Alt. 
Jennifer Marie Blau. Joshua Neil Bodenot. Justin F. Brown. Elizabeth Catherine Butai. Amanda Jean Campbell. Joseph F. Capitosta. Laura K. Carps. Brian R. Chapman. Jason Men Choi. Tracy Clark. Allison Marie Cooper. Elizabeth Ashley Cote. Aaron Michelle Coudre. Zachary Robert Craig. Jonathan M. Crowley. Michael Christopher Davis. Andrew Robert Esterly. Amanda Rose Fisher, Michelle Lee Fletcher, Frank Thomas Foda, Timothy Kip Frazee, Michelle Frischetz, Nicholas Michael Gogler. Lindsay Ann Gilbert, Sarah Jane Gormley, Stephen P. Gosha, Teresa Ann Harita, Zachary William Hiltner, Jennifer Lynn Hunt. Jennifer Lynn Jack. Christina Lynn Jesnick. Brittany Lauren Kelker. Lee Thomas Kennard. Rebecca A. Klein. Stephen J. Kohler. Amanda Beth Kozlowski. Mark J. Landerholm. Lauren Michelle Lawson. Benjamin Lefevre. Heather Lane Linscombe, Lauren Ashley Loren, Jennifer Marie Lucan, Melissa Elizabeth Lyle, Samantha Lauren Massaw, Carol Ann McKee, Derek McQueen, Abra Morgan, Megan Rochelle Mountjoy, Eric Joseph Orlando, Megan Ashley Parker, Brianne Janelle Polk, Timothy Joseph Presto, Brianna Lillian Riccardi.
Allison Marie Shondell. Austin Miley Sr. Jeffrey David Safero. William Michael Shelley. Kara Leanne Shipley. Brian Charles Shooks. Elizabeth Ann Seiske. Megan Simcox. Aaron James Singleton. Michael Sloan, Jr. Christina Marie Smith. Thomas Gordon Smith. Elise H. Snyder. Jennifer Ann Sonnenstein. David Peter Starncheck. Patrick W. Starkey. Abby M. Sturgewalt. Philip J. Stuhldreyer. Jackie Sue Treese. Daniel Aaron Vandersummers. Holly Joy Vandersummers. Brandon Michael Waltz. Megan Weber. Timothy Ryan Westerman. Stephen Russell Witten. Joseph Stephen Zavada. Natalie Crispin. Matthew Giroux. Giancarlo Acevedo. Lauren Renee Ecker. Melissa Ann Adley. David Mark Alexander II. Christine Anderson. Anthony J. Baker. Kevin William Barker. Ryan Beatty. Sarah Heather Belford. Valerie Len Bendel. Chantelle Berlin. Nicholas H. Bianco. Brandy M. Bissell. Catherine N. Bissell. Christopher Marshall Block. Sean Robert Brecht. Kenneth Richard Buck. Jennifer Lynn Buckholt. Christina Rose Burton. Emily Byers. Justin P. Byers. Nicholas Lyle Calabrus. Chase D. Caldwell. Cody Patrick Callahan. Ashley Carpenter. Ryan J. Kassenheiser. Justin Quentin Cassidy. Ryan Paul Caton. Angela Chambers. Andrew M. Krasnowski. Adam M. Clark. Adam Clayton. 
Brian R. Clem. Brandon R. Cobb. Tyler K. Kaufman. Todd M. Constantine. Christopher R. Corwell. Rochelle Marie Crouch. Nicole Christine Crow. Andrew Robert Daniels. Kristen Nicole Decker. Rachel Dent. Matthew R. Durhammer. Brenna Elizabeth Detweiler. Tyler Vincent Doyle. Richard Duke. Dustin M. Dunn. Stephen Andrew Durensky. James Robert Edmister. Rachel Lee Edmonds. Shauna Uden. Jared Evans. Katherine E. Farver. Shelley Lynn Ferguson. Ashley Lee Foreman. Kelly M. Franzkowski. Benjamin D. Galpert. Matthew Gregory Galpert. William Arthur George III. Seth Gray Glasgow. Nicholas William Goddard. Heather Lynn Gregory. Mary Helen Gruber. Jeremy David Hamill. Nathaniel Hanshu. Laura Ann Hartman. Lisa Jane Hartzler. Sean David Heffelman. Elizabeth Hewitt. Joshua Hicks. Maxwell Allen Hillbrunner. Megan Michelle Hill. Kurt Himmelwright. Kelly Lynn Hopkins. Erica Hose. Jeffrey Hoyt. Shane M. Huffman. Kyle Christopher Jackson. Matthew E. James. Jessica E. Jones. Patrick Ashley Keenan. Philip M. Keller. Sangby Sylvester Kimokai. <laughs> Stacy Lynn Kendron. Charles Edward Kindig. Christina Marie King. Carrie Beth King. Angela Louise Claus. 
Joseph Cosma. Jason Andrew Kreider. Megan Renee Cressawati. Haley Marie Lambert. Jesse Lynn Leatherman. Amanda Beth Ledman. Joshua David Lego. Caroline Irene Lytle. Kelly Ann Langle. Sarah Lenkowski. Andrew Alexander Lovett. James Andrew Liddy. William Ling. Tammy Don Lingle. Joel Leffler. Christopher Allen Lucas. Nicholas Lyons. Tammy Martini. Tyler Mason. Courtney M. McGill. Laura Ann McKeegan. Brian Stephen Merrick. Lisa Marie Malici. Ashley Lynn Miller. Athena Jewel Miller. Jason Matthew Miller. Megan L. Miller. Kyle David Monda. John Montgomery. Rachel Annette Morgan. Timothy Mark Morton. Stephen Paul Murray. Stephen Allen Ott. Chelsea Faith Owen. Kayla Marie Panzarello. James Richard Parsons. Emily Jo Patrick. Alicia Marie Perankovic. Brandon Allen Peters. Melissa Peterson. Donald Petrovic. Blair Summers Picton. Carrie Jeanette Petter. Jeremy Michael Porchowski. Courtney Lynn Pound. Justin Michael Puder. Don Renee Reed. Christopher C. Reynolds. Joshua Ryan Rowe. Brett Michael Rooks. Jonathan Curtis Ross. Amy Michelle Russell. Jessica Ray Ryland. Mark David Samsa Jr. Katie Elizabeth Sayre. Catherine Lynn Scanlon. Emily Sue Schmelzer. Dennis J. Schrock. Nicole Seahorn. Heather Danielle Scheip. 
Christopher M. Sloda. Brett Chandler Smith. Jonathan Smith. Samuel B. Smith. Sarah R. Smith. Donald J. Schrock, Jr. Jacob E. Starcher. Stephen Jeffrey Steele. Brett W. Stillman. Michael A. Stout. Alicia Marie Strong. Tara Lynn Thompson. Ryan Christopher Ty. Casey William Tilbert. Elizabeth Tuig. Jessica Lauren Vanderbilt. Douglas James Baverka. Jessica Lynn Voltman. Lauren Walker. Jennifer Watterson. Angela Ruth Weaver. Jeffrey Wellert. Christina B. Wyant. Rachel Ann Wilcox. Matthew Allen Wilson. Richard Wise. Brian Workman. Aaron Ramsey Yoakum. Michael R. Yoders. Nicole Lee Zikafus. That usually doesn't happen to me when I step up to give a speech. Thank you. <laughs> Before Tim Swartz addresses the class one last time, I would like the people in the back to clear the entrance so the students can properly dismiss to the East Gym, where they will celebrate by throwing their caps. I kindly ask the members of the audience not to stop the students during their recessional. People who wish to photograph the throwing of the caps should exit to my right, which is right here, and proceed to the East Gym. For parents and loved ones, the school courtyard is open if you wish to take formal pictures afterwards. Thank you. Please stand. Thank you to everyone for coming, and it's time to switch our tassels. Congratulations to the graduated class of 2003.